Well, good morning. And isn't it a lovely morning? Oh, man. It's been a crazy week. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much shorts as I'd like to. And I missed yesterday. Yeah, I drove for Uber all day yesterday. It's all I've been doing, basically. Um, you know, things have been slow, so I've been having to make things up, you know, money-wise to pay the bills. But anyway, how many animals have ever existed on Earth? And when I saw this, I'm like, yeah, there we go. I'm going to talk about that. This fascinates me. Figure out this mind-boggling high number. We need to know how many species have ever lived. Dig deep into the fossil record and do a lot of math. I'm not good at math, but this is, should be fun. It's a pretty cool picture. Why is it? It's mostly African animals. Okay, well, there's a couple. Okay, there's stuff from all over the world. It just seems to be like they love African animals. So there's a lot of them in there. But anyway, um, there are more than 8 billion humans on the planet. And although that's a remarkable number, it's just a fraction of the number of people who have ever lived. And an even smaller slice of the total number of animals that have ever existed. But how would scientists even go about estimating the total number of animals on Earth, let alone determining how many have ever existed on our planet throughout its history? And why bother? Uh, in an email to Live Scientist, uh, Science, David Jablonski, a geophysical engineer at the University of Chicago, described the calculation as a difficult question, but said he, it's probably easier to begin by estimating the total number of animal species. According to IUCN Red List, about 2.16 million animal species have been formally described as of 2022. However, up to 20% of those pro are probably duplicates, documented by multiple scientists, according to a 2013 paper in the Journal of Science. Assuming the estimate is accurate, that puts the true number of known animal species at 1.7 million. Duplicates? Like, you know, in a different space of life or something like that, and they've just been called something else? Like, I know eels were thought to be different species, but then there was, like, the baby part of the eel, and then the adult. I mean, maybe it has something to do with that. Of course, this number isn't static, Researchers are continuing to describe about 14,000 to 18,000 new animal species each year, which means scientists have only scratched the surface of the number of animals on the planet. In 2011, Camilo Moro, a biogeographer at the University of Hawaii, and his colleagues wrote a paper on in Peel LOS Biology, estimating the total number of eukaryote species on Earth. Their final count was around 8.7 million, uh, about 7.7 .7 million of which were animals. Of those, roughly half were insects, which is mind-blowing, Moro told Live Science. This paper has become quite influential and is still widely cited today. To figure out how many species who have ever lived, we need to look deeper into the past using the fossil record, which represents a whole new set of challenges. I mean, yeah, there's no way for us to know 100% for sure. I mean, there's just none. Because we find new extinct species every single day, new fossils. And imagine those are only the ones that fossilized. There, there are so many more that we have no, like, way of knowing about because they didn't fossilize. And there's plenty of species who will, we will never rediscover. Ever. A few of these early animals not preserved in the fossil record, but the vast majority... Wait. A few of those early animals are preserved in the fossil record, but the vast majority are not. That's because species with soft bodies rarely preserve. For example... And even for hard body creatures, fossilization takes place only under very specific conditions. What's more, plate tectonics slowly and continuously churns the surface of the planet, thereby erasing old impressions, stone, and bone. It's, I didn't even think about that. The standard estimate is that 99.9% .9 of species that have ever lived are extinct, Jablonski said. But of course, that's a crude approximation. Assuming that this approximation is correct, we would simply need to multiply 7.7 .7 million by nearly 100% uh, more, said. That puts the total number of animal species at roughly 770 million species. Jesus Christ. But how could we calculate the number of animals, uh, individual animals that have ever lived on Earth? The number is probably mind-bogglingly gigantic. The planet is home to 8 billion humans alone. We share the space with around 130 billion other animals, up to 428 billion birds, 3.3 trillion fish and an estimated 10 quintillion insects. That's one 
That's a one with 18 zeros. Jesus Christ. If we assume that the correct abundance have been relatively stable over life's history, then we can extrapolate uh, out using the relative portions of the 7.7 million existing species. For example, if there are currently 3.85 million species of insects on Earth, that corresponds to 385 million in the past, and 385 million times 10 quintillion is both. Oh my god, because insects are so ubiquitous, that's probably not fair, uh, far from the total number, but oh, we can extremely roughly estimate that, including other arthropods, invertebrates and uh, invertebrates, invertebrates, we have approximately 4.5 to the 10th 27th I, I don't even know how to fucking say that animals on earth why go through all the trouble of calculating the number of animals on the planet but simply it's important for scientists to understand earth's baseline biodiversity and how it fluctuates as a result of climate change deforestation population and other factors we are currently barreling towards a major mass extinction and we need to know the background rate of extinction to grasp the scope of our current crisis there could be hundreds of species right now as we speak that mathematically we know are disappearing more said and unfortunately we didn't even get the chance to know they who they were or who they are well um yeah i mean i think i've said this multiple times in other videos that like this has happened throughout our history and i think i've used the 99 percent number before so such an insur it's such a big number that you can't even say it. That's I mean that's I mean it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, like insects weren't always around. Um there are plenty of species like ants. Ants evolved like in the Ju late Jurassic, I think, at least as far as we know. So like there are plenty of animals like that that make up huge numbers today that doesn't mean that they were necessarily around in those numbers then gotta think there's times where flowering plants weren't even a thing so like all these animals over time have become what they are today i still i mean there's no way to know for sure but that's a really cool thought experiment and a really good way to put put into perspective how much the earth has changed over its history and how all the days are numbered everything changes in a million years from now who knows what's going to be out there if there's even any people left it could everything will be gone in a million years or we could be in like this next level who knows maybe we'll be the aliens let me know what you think down below let me know if you like this video and i'll see you on the next one Keep it wild.